Well, hello, Pastor Billy here. Uh, welcome to uh, Seeking His Face uh, today. Um, again, just this is a time for us to sit down to seek God's face throughout the day. Uh, you don't need me to do this. You can do this uh, all on your own. But this is just an encouragement for you uh, to do it uh, as you as you seek His face. We need Him throughout the day, not just first thing in the morning, not just late in the evening. Uh, and not just at lunchtime. And so uh, my encouragement to you is to seek his, his face throughout the day. And I want to give you one way that you can do that uh, today. Um, and so if you've got a Bible, turn with me to the book of uh, Psalm chapter 40. Psalm chapter 40. Um, uh, one way you say, well, what do I do? How do I spend time with the Lord throughout the day? Well, one thing that you can do is you can just read a psalm throughout the day. Um, maybe pick three different, four different times throughout the day to read a psalm, five different times. Uh, take five minutes to just get alone and read part of a psalm and pray that psalm back to the Lord. And I'm just going to pick out a Psalm chapter 40. This is one that I read yesterday um, on, uh, on August the 10th in Psalm chapter 40. Um, and so if you've got a Bible, just look with me there. And we're just going to read the first, uh, first few verses um, I love reading the Psalms, by the way. Um, they, uh, at times, they, they help me realize that God understands me because, because David struggled with some of the same things and same worries and concerns that I struggle with and the same ones you struggle with, but it also is filled with truths about his character, about God's character, his, his power, his worth, his protection, his goodness, um, who he is, his names, uh, and so so it's always an opportunity to worship the Lord. And so when I when I spend time reading the Psalms, it gives me an upward focus, um, but it also gives me a, a focus on seeing that God understands me. And so when I pray through something, I'm always looking at how can I worship God through this? How can I thank God through this? Is there a sin that I need to confess? Um, or uh, is there a petition that I can make in the midst of it? And so Psalm chapter 40, just going to begin here in verse, verse 1. It says, I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me and he heard my cry. He drew me up from the pit of destruction out of the miry bog and he set my feet upon a rock making my steps secure verse 3 he put a new song in my mouth and a song of praise to our god and so uh, one thing that i just that i see here is in verse 3 where he says he put a new song in my mouth a song of praise to our God. And so I might just uh, take a moment and just stop and praise God uh, because it just reminds me that he puts a song of praise in our mouth. So let's just do that right now. Let's take a moment to just stop and give, give God praise. God, we give you praise today because of your faithfulness and your goodness. We exalt you today because you are holy, uh, because you are the creator of heaven and earth. You are the sustainer of heaven and earth. God, we give you praise because you are worthy. In Christ's name, we ask that. Amen. And so, just an opportunity to praise God in the midst of your busy day. Um, verse 2, I loved what he said. He said, he drew me up from the pit of destruction uh, out of the miry bog. Is that not what, what God did when he sent Jesus? Uh, we were on our way to destruction. Sin has destroyed our lives. Um, and if sin has its way in us, we will be destroyed. We will enter eternal destruction according, according to First Second Thessalonians chapter 1. Uh, when For those who do not know God and who do not obey His gospel, uh, his, the gospel of His kingdom, uh, will be eternally, enter into eternal destruction. Um, and so that's what Jesus did. And so with that, I might just think, praise God. I want to thank you, Lord, for Jesus. So let's do that right now. Lord, as your word says, he drew me up from the pit of destruction. I praise you, God, that you drew me up. You drew us up from the pit of destruction. Lord, we could never, we could never get there on our own. 
Lord. We could never come to you on our own. We could never leave that pit of destruction on our own because of how sinful we are, how broken we are. So I praise you, God, for sending Jesus. I praise you for, for, I thank you for opening my heart and the hearts of those who, who have received that gift by sending your son, Jesus, by leaving heaven and coming to earth on our behalf, God. Um, we are so unworthy of that, but we are so thankful. And it's in Jesus' name we pray again. Amen. Amen. And so we thank God for that. It said that he set my feet upon a rock, making my steps secure. God, I thank you that you have set my feet upon a rock, the rock of Jesus Christ. And my, my steps are secure today. Lord, you know the decisions that I have to make. You know the, the things that we have to do, the things that we're going to be going through today. You know the, uh, the things that are unknown to us today, Lord, but we praise you and we thank you today that you set our feet upon the rock and that you make our steps secure, Lord. Lord, as I think about what you said through the prophet Habakkuk, he, that, that, uh, you, that you cause us to, uh, to run to the heights. You make our feet like the feet of a deer, enabling us to go to the heights. Lord, and so we give you praise for that. And then I just go back to verse 1 in this one as well, which is really the first one that grabbed my attention in this. I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me, and he heard my cry. Lord, God, help us to wait patiently for you and incline and trust you to incline to, 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 to listen and to hear our, our cry for help. Help us to be humble enough. Help me to be humble enough to, to cry out to you, Lord, in my moment of need and not try to fix everything on my own, but to cry out to you and, and trust in you to, to hear and to answer. Lord, God, you are worthy. God, help us to be patient. Lord, you don't. I, we know you don't always answer in our time time frame, God. But would you help us to uh, to be patient and wait for you and trust you? And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And so, listen. Uh, throughout the day, if you just pick a psalm and you just study that psalm, or you just read that psalm, and you pick out a place or two that you could pray, and you don't have to spend twenty minutes, you don't have to spend seven minutes. You just find that psalm and you just praise God, or you just thank God, or you just make the petition based on what your need is right now. Hey, once again, thank you for joining uh, joining me for uh, Seeking His Face today. Um, if this is helpful to you, once again, I just encourage you to uh, share this with somebody, um, and, and again, to give us a thumbs up saying that, that you like it. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. Um, and, uh, and hey, I just, I want to, I want to know what you're thinking. We're just trying to follow God and do what he wants and serve him. So, hey, remember, feast well on his word. You do not live by, by bread alone. Uh, and we will see you, uh, see you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.